Good afternoon, CHS. Today is February 21st of 2019. I'm Zach. And I'm Anthony, and we're your anchors for today. Today, we will be talking about NASA wanting to go to the moon again and some road work coming to the woodlands. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. In November, NASA picked nine private space companies to be able to bid on upcoming projects. On February 14th, NASA committee met with representatives from the space industry to talk about plans to return to the moon in the next years. Starting early this year, NASA plans on sending out commercial landers to the moon as the first step to returning to the moon. Although there's still a lot of prep work NASA and their teams will have to go through to get to where they aspire to be, they'll have to do tons of practice launches and landings as well as knowing what to do to expect from landing on the moon. Some commercial lunar partners who will work on O to mine and receive minerals from the surface of the moon, all of the commercial endivores will need to work with getting NASA's lunar gateway open. NASA plans on having the gateway open by 2026 with their first power and propulsion elements entering orbit in 2022. For years now, those drivers who frequently visit Robinson Road and Interstate 45 on the Woodlands Parkway overpass have endured delays and congestions as cars try to merge onto the freeway uh, towards the parkway on the ramps. There will be some changes made in this upcoming year, letting drivers feel more at ease. This project is estimated to cost about $4.5 million and is, is, and is to be finished, hopefully, by the end of this year. This has been ongoing, and it has been in a process for quite a while now. There's, there's funding available and once we acquire the land, we can enter into an agreement with the county to move ahead, Durr said. The project will take about 10 months to a year to complete. If not, the process does not, if the process does not begin until April or later, the, the boys said then the completion date would be pushed onto 2020. So in this upcoming year and next year, expect some construction in the woodlands. Now we'll be taking a commercial break and come back with our special guest. We would like to welcome today's special guest, Nico, the president of the Young Democrats Club. Let's jump straight into it. Hey, can you tell us about the Young De Democrats Club? Sure. So basically, it is a political club that meets on campus to discuss current events and how we can be active in our community. So how often does the club like meet? So we do currently meet once a month, the second Thursday of each month, in room 304 in the Annex. So what kind of things do you all do inside the club? Typically what we do is we have a guest speaker come and it's normally a local representative to talk about their current campaign or we discuss current headlines in the news. So like are there ever like mock elections? While we do elect officers for the club, we do not hold mock elections now. All right. So what what do you like most about the club? What I like most about the club is that it gives me the ability to further educate my worldview and to have a better cultural understanding of how society works. All right. So, like, how exactly does uh, like a normal CHS student just like join this club? So you pretty much just have to stop by. We're on the announcements that week that we are having a club, and you show up if you want to be an official member. You can sign our list and pay the dues, or you can just show up at meetings. We don't really care if you identify as Republican, Democrat, or whatever. As long as you're interested in being a concerned citizen in America, we want you. All right, that's pretty nice. All right, but thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we will now take this uh, to weather with Ezekiel. 
Thanks guys, I'm Ezekiel, your weather anchor for today. Let's get right into it with today's high of 55 and a low of being 53 and a 60% chance of rain. If we look ahead into the week, there will be some changes. For the next two days, there will be 60 and 70% chances of storms. So make sure to prepare for it that Sunday. It will be relatively sunny, still with some cold temperatures and a little rainy next week until Wednesday, but do expect some changes. Now for the fact of the day, Antarctica was once as warm as modern day California. Now we will take a quick break and then sports. feel stressed, anxious, or depressed, don't be afraid to seek help. Whether it be a friend, family, or a counselor, there's always someone. What's the worst that could happen? Oh yeah, bro, you go ahead and run that gun. Let me get that. Let me get it. You want me to get gun? I'm the best friend. I get the hallmark. You want me to get gun? Hey, man. No! I'm Aaron, your sports reporter for today. In NBA news, All-Star Weekend was a wild one as to start things off, Team USA defeated the world team 161 to 144 as Kyle Kuzma got the MVP while recording 35 points. On Saturday, on Saturday, the skills challenge was won by Jason Tatum. Joe Harris became the first Nets player to win a three-point contest and Oklahoma City Thunder guard uh, Diallo took home the trophy for the slam dunk contest. But Sunday was the big night as Team LeBron erased a 20-point lead uh, versus Team Guinness as Kevin Durant took, the, took home the MVP with 31 points. In MLB news, star, uh, star shortstop Manny Machado has came to, up to a decision to sign with the San Diego Padres for a historic 10-year, $300 million deal, which is the biggest contract for any free agent in any sport. Conroe, basketball traveled, uh, Conroe baseball traveled to Texas City for their first true game. They won 14-3 behind Hayden Johnson, went for 4-4 four for four with a double, two RBIs, and three runs. And Dylan Shipley gets the win with four strikeouts. Now for the quote of the day. You, can be any, you can't be anybody else. You've got to be yourself, said Manny Machado. Now we will send it back to, anchor, back to the anchors to finish up with the announcements. We want to finish up our newscast today with a few announcements. Join Mod Peaks in supporting CHS Leo Club today. Bring in a flyer or a picture and Mod will donate 20% of your bill to support our service projects. Those are the announcements that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, start strong, finish strong. Make sure you turn, tune in on KTIG tomorrow. For Jaden and Kinkin, Morgan, Imani, too. Logan, Torianto, Cardi Ray, and my Jada Boo. Ooh. They like when Uncle says that when I win, I say, Oh, say, Need my style. Anything to make you smile, though. Come here, I ain't seen you in a month. Uh, uh, uh. Come here, give your Uncle Booker a hug. Hey.